Hi everyone, it's, um, I've been trying to get back on all day and I just, I started to do one thing, it led on to another and led on to another till I made myself almost flake out because I did too much work this afternoon. So, um, the house is clean, <laughs> some clothes are sorted out and um, other paraphernalia, so it, it's been uh, a useful thing for me to do. I think clear house, clear head. So I've made a, a good start. So now it's getting on for one o'clock in the morning. Can't sleep, um, even though I'm tired. So I've been sitting there sort of doing a crossword and then having a drink and then having a think. And I've been thinking about where we're going to go next. I want to do the custard house again. Um, I'd like to do it one. I won't go on my own in the evening, but I'd like to go one evening just to see what it's like, because it's all lit up, all the light in the streets around there. But um, that's for another day. So I'm thinking of other places we can go and the one thing that's been on my mind recently on and off is to go across to Ireland as a lot of you know um, my dad was born in Dublin my grandparents maternal grandparents were born in Tipperary my paternal grandparents. My grandfather was born in Dublin, my dad's dad, and my grandmother, Margaret Delgado, she was born in um, Spain. Hence the colouring when I was younger, I was quite dark skinned. So um, I've still got a lot of family there. I've got uh, a brother and sister in Dublin. I've got lots of cousins, lots. Um, most of them in Tipperary and um, one cousin in particular who is actually not my first cousin, she's my mother's first cousin so I don't know what that makes her to me. My first cousin once removed, my second cousin, I don't know but she's a delightful person. She's only a few years older than me. And um, she used to be a uh, deputy headmistress of a school and choir mistress and keeps herself involved in lots of things. And she's widowed now too. Um, and has often asked me to you know, just go over for a break and these bones and these fractured hips and everything, they've stopped me doing so much. And the pain has stopped me doing so much and the fear of going out on my own because of stumbling, because I can't walk properly. Well, that's all stopping now. I'm not going to be fearful. I refuse to be. Um, I've been out twice now on my own for some hours. I intend to go out again tomorrow morning. We have um, a funeral to go to. My sister-in-law, um, it's her funeral tomorrow, which we should be going to because when I was a little kid, you know, my brother and she were good to me when I was a little girl and they were godparents to our youngest child also so I'm thinking that it'd be nice to give her a, a farewell on her next leg of the journey and uh, so that's tomorrow morning with the kids attending also and then I intend to be out and about 
done it again. I haven't got a hand key. Make sure I don't flash you. Um, so after the funeral, as I say, um, it'll be the wake, which will, sh you know, sort of show our faces have to be polite and say hello to everybody and then I think my son's got to go to work and um, I will do something not quite sure what yet might just be a bit of shopping but it'll be something enjoyable which I shall post and then um, I might go and see if I can see my other friends actually. I haven't seen them in such a long time. Um, and Tuesday, I, they go, some of them go to bingo on Tuesdays. I, I, I've never played it except when the kids were little and we used to play with the kids. You know, but um, I don't intend to stop playing it as an adult. But um, I just haven't got the patience to do all the stomping out of the cards. But they go, they go, they go to um, bingo on Tuesday afternoon. So if it's still going at where I'm thinking of, I could go there and have a look in the shops roundabouts up there might do that and um, Ireland is going to be a definite on my list to do um, at some stage and prior to that I was talking to my son about it today I need a break I, I need to get away from hospitals from doctors from my house even, from everything. You know, it's been, the last couple of years have been extremely stressful. And, last couple of years, let's try the last decade or two. Um, and I need to get away somewhere, by myself maybe, and just have a week maybe in a little cottage and i was thinking on the coast on the south coast maybe devon maybe cornwall i don't know and um beautiful down there beautiful coastline and uh you've got the jurassic coastline as well i think um I don't think, if I stayed in Weymouth, I don't think it's too far from Weymouth. So that's somewhere to think about going also. See, we're going to go on all sorts of journeys. I don't just say these things and not cough up. Um, I do do what I say. It might take me a little while, but I'm quite proud of myself for what I'm doing at the minute. So please bear with me and be patient. Um, oh... I did my COVID test after this morning's thingy with my throat uh, and yeah, it's been like it on and off all day but um, I haven't got COVID, I'm COVID free otherwise I wouldn't be going anywhere tomorrow. So that's that. I am going to have my coffee. I'm going to have a little think about what I want to say to you because I haven't said half of what I want to say. Um, and really it's to tell you what I want to talk about really what I feel is vital for me to talk about um, for me to share with you and to share with maybe somebody who has gone through Know somebody who is going through 
a similar situation. So I'll need to think that through. I can't just come and sit and rub it on, you know. I need to have it all concise in my head and so I know what to say. I'm very brave, aren't I? You know, I've only got a bit, bit of cream on my face and um, that's it in my bed. So I'm getting braver and braver and braver. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, bye-bye.